welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Molly and I'm a mom of two kiddos ages 7 and 4 and I love to make cleaning motivation videos as well as inspirational homemaking videos to help you get motivated and inspired around your home as well. So without further ado, let's get to cleaning. In today's video, I am going to uh, tackle a couple of spots in my kitchen that need some attention that have just gotten in a disarray and they need some love. <laughs> And thank you so much to Yasonic for sponsoring today's video. I have got their three tier rolling cart to try out. And this is everything that it comes with. It comes with wheels and all the screws that you need, even a little wrench to tighten the wheels. You'll see here in just a minute. And these little cups, which is pretty cool. And you can put stuff in those and you have three tiers so I'm going to build this first and then I'm going to put something that is from my kitchen countertop that I've been wanting to get off of there on this rolling cart and push it into my pantry which is an item that is a little bit on the heavier side it's my stand mixer and I want to let you guys know that this rolling cart will hold up to 66 pounds of whatever you put on here and there are so many different ways you can use this rolling cart you could put after school snacks on here which i might end up doing eventually or it could store art supplies homeschool things if you are homeschooling your children or even you could set this up as like a little thank you cart for all of the delivery drivers during the holiday season if you wanted to. And one more idea would be to store all of your cleaning supplies on this, especially if you are in a one-story home and you could just tote it around with you in every room that you go. So that would be really lovely. Thank you again to Yasonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And I will have the link for it down below in the description box if you are interested. So now here I am, I am going to take this stand mixer off of our countertop and because it's got little suction cup, little feet <laughs> on the bottom, so it's a little bit hard to move. And I noticed that putting it in this cart makes it so much easier to get in and out of. So I originally wanted to use this to get both the stand mixer and the air fryer off of the kitchen counter, but it's a little bit too too small in between like the other tiers, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is just put some of my back stock items that I have here in the pantry on the rolling cart and kind of get them off of the floor, which was so nice. Here is the first like official space that we are going to be clearing out and reorganizing because it is just such a disaster in there <laughs> and I have been meaning to clear this out and just make it a little bit more functional for us because we have just all a bunch of our mugs in here. I've got tea just jammed up here and uh, we've got some other items that really don't belong in this cabinet, like some medicine and things. But I mean, they are medicines that we use more on a, like a weekly basis if we need to, or we don't wanna run all the way upstairs to go grab it, so it's just easier to, to keep down here. But I am gonna move them back upstairs to the linen closet, which is where I have the other medicines, like all the rest of the medicine.
are a few mugs here that I'm going to declutter, which are these little blue ones that we got. I think we got them as a wedding gift, actually. And during our move last year from Utah to Pennsylvania, unfortunately, basically almost every piece from that set ended up breaking which was a pretty bad <laughs> so but my grandma's plates that i have with strawberries on them luckily did not break so that goes to show you things that were made a long time ago that are like antique and vintage are just so much better quality i would say than things that are made these days and I've always loved my grandma's plates that she had, or my grandma and grandpa um, on my mom's side. I always loved those plates so much. And my mom got to, the, she got the plates, got the whole set after my grandma died. And I, she knew that I always loved them. And so they gave them to me when I moved out on my own, like after college and i still have them just i don't use them as often now but i do have them as backups and i think i want to give them to ruby when she moves out when of course that's a long time from now i don't even want to think about her moving out <laughs> right now but i think that would be a really cool thing to pass those down i'll have to see if i can get a clip of my grandma's strawberry plates right here for you but i just i wanted to share that it just it just came out <laughs> Now I'm going to organize my teas that have just been stuffed in that clo closet, I mean that cabinet, and get them in my tea organizer that I found on Etsy, and I don't think that shop is around anymore. But speaking of Etsy, I actually made this little tea organizer out of this cat fabric a while back, like a few years ago when we were living in Utah, and I tried to sell it on Etsy, and nobody bought it. <laughs> So I just ended up taking it off of my Etsy shop and I finally used it for the first time <laughs> during our vacation to the mountains in North Carolina with my family just recently in July. And it was perfect because I was able to bring my tea with me and I knew exactly where they were and they were just nice and organized in my little tea organizer. <laughs> so my... Oh, and I want to point out that my, or not point out, but I wanted to tell you that my Etsy shop is still around. Like, I still have it open. I don't have a lot of things in there, and I'm not actively, like, adding things right now because I have gotten into doing YouTube a whole lot more. But if you are interested in checking out my Etsy shop, I will have it linked down below for you. <laughs> While we were in North Carolina, my husband found this really cool apple tea, and it's a loose leaf tea, so I'm excited to try that out. And I even picked up this cute little bird dish that I want to use for like my tea bags at night when I'm drinking my tea, because I drink tea almost every single night, just about.
it is the next day hello <laughs> and i am tackling this like display cabinet which i have just thrown stuff in here push things in here that i don't want the kids to see anymore i found tons of like easter candy left over in here and it just it needed to go away <laughs> so i'm going to get all this clutter out of this cabinet and make it make it get back to the display cabinet that it is supposed to be so i wanted to talk a tiny bit about loving your home which is what i titled the thumbnail of this video and it is just to me it is showing showing your home that you care about it and you don't want it to just get out of order and it's working against you instead of like with you and for you so i think that organizing things every so often especially if you notice that you have just let something go and it needs to get back to a good state that that that's your home screaming out to you like please help me so i can help you live better and just enjoy the space that you are in Yes, candy from Easter, like up to two years ago, I think, is what I found here. You can see it. And I ended up giving all these tiny toys to the kids, and they were super excited. They had totally forgotten that they were there. And look, even money was in this cabinet. <laughs> so this this cabinet, like like I said, has been screaming at me probably for months and months now. I've Oh, I'm so glad that I finally did this and got rid of all of that old candy that needed to go and it's finally back to being a beautiful display cabinet and it has our wine wine glasses in it and the champagne glasses are what we got on our honeymoon on our last night of our honeymoon we went on a like a, a dinner boat ride we went to Charleston, South Carolina for our honeymoon, which it was about this time six years ago. <laughs> it was at the end of July is when we went. And it's something that I wanted to display somewhere once we had a good place to. And I feel like this home is the perfect, or this home and this kitchen is the perfect place to display that. And then the cake stand that was on the bottom shelf is a wedding gift as well. And oh, I just adore that. I have used it so many times and I just love it. But the little, like, was it cloche or I don't, I think it's a cloche that goes on top of it. I bought that separate uh, on my own after Ruby had, or not after, but when Ruby had her fifth birthday party, I wanted to be able to uh, enclose the cake that I put on the stand. So that that's a purchase that I bought, I think on Amazon. I think actually yeah a couple years ago so but I'm moving on to another problem here which is this particular like pull out drawer system here this is where I keep all of the baking items cookie cutters cookie scoops and all of the mixing bowls and measuring cups and measuring spoons so it was time to go through all of this and get it back in order because I actually had it in order like when we first moved into this house and I was just putting things in cabinets and I had everything set out nice and neat and orderly. So I'm so excited to finally get that back to a wonderful and more functional state of being. Yes, we have three sets of measuring spoons here that you can see, and we actually use all of them. <laughs> like, on a, like, we, yes, we use all of these things. So what we normally do is just kind of grab the one that we need and we would take it off of the little, like, uh, the little thing here that I'm putting it back on, and we would just 
throw it in the, or at least I would, because I'm the one that always does the dishes, <laughs> I would just throw it in the cabinet and not even worry about putting it back. And it just, it made the drawer look messy. So yeah, <laughs> but yes, I'm not, not decluttering those because we end up using them all the time, especially at Christmas time when I do my crazy baking and I bake about seven different cookies every Christmas now. It's something that I started out in Utah and I just, yeah, I need all of them. <laughs> so I'm not gonna get rid of them. So, but I want to know, uh, down in the comments, leave me a comment down below and let me know, like, what are some problem spots in your kitchen that you've kind of just let go or you feel like you just can't deal with it, but you know you need to and that you would feel so much better about once you do. Like, let me down, let me know down below. space that I want to tackle today and that is underneath of the kitchen sink. It has gotten so bad, <laughs> so many things just all up in here. This is where I put all of my vases for my flower arrangements when I put those out in the kitchen and around the house as well as cleaning supplies of course as usual. And oh my cat, <laughs> my cat baby, baby Ziggs just had to get in the cabinet while I'm doing this. And then there's the other cat, Midnight, and <laughs> they're so funny. They, they're like all up in my business. They're like, what are you doing, mom? <laughs> like, I want to get in the cabinet. So, so funny. But uh, yes, this is everything that I took out of the cabinet. And some of these things are gonna go in different places in the house that they don't really belong in here but I'm gonna put the vases back and the cleaning supplies, a majority of them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is, this is it. Like, I am so happy that I have all of these spaces done. This is what I could get done for this video. I have more spaces that need to be done as well. They'll be in a totally different video eventually, I'm sure, probably, or I'll just do them, I don't know. That is it 
it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to check out that rolling cart from Yasonic. Thank you to Yasonic for sponsoring today's video again and check out their other products because I have four of their things now and I love each and every single one of them. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!